Hey, you guys. It's been a little bit. It's 2022 now. This video might look a little bit weird, like the set might look a little weird. And this is kind of a sound check. I've never recorded anything like this in this new space. But I've got a card table, which is a heck of a lot better than the weird, like, end table I was using before. The top of the card table is olive colored, so it's like a green. I'm not sure what colors make olive off the top of my head. I know it's a green, but it's meant to be just kind of like neutral. I'll probably put blankets or curtains over it when I do stuff. But it's a lot bigger than the space that I had, so I'll be able to actually like use it to do more stuff with the way that I had the end table that I recorded with before, it wasn't good. So, it looks a bit spartan. I don't have any lights or anything like that set up. There's just one, like, overhead light that's projecting down and the lighting is a little bit weird. I actually had a second light on. There's like a light in the closet space that's like right across from us. And that light is too white. It like washed everything out and made it look even weirder. But I wanted to see how everything sounded. The card table sounds awesome. There's just one issue that I need to get figured out. And that is the camera, this guy right here, he's attached to the table, so I can't like do anything. <laughs> so something I want to do that wouldn't work with the camera attached. I really like watching people play board games and puzzles. They open the box and start putting the pieces down on the board or together and if the camera is attached to the table Every time I like touch it, it moves the camera. So if if you don't if you don't record ASMR, you you don't realize how difficult it is to get the camera in front of you because a tripod is like this big giant thing that would I guess be between my legs. I'm not even sure. I, it, I guess it could be off to the side, but then it might cast a shadow, and there's... I don't know what the trick is, but a lot of people do it, and I'm still trying to figure it out. And I love that style. This, like, looking down style. And until I get my EG partial, this is just kind of like what we're going to do. <laughs> I am still planning to get an EG partial and do, I really want to do role plays. And I can still do some from this perspective, but it's really limiting to not be able to have a camera facing me and, and do more like stuff. But unfortunately my partial is, well, two years behind 
and uh, at this point I don't think it's actually going to get done. So I've got to find another maker. And I really want to work with a smaller maker, but unfortunately uh, this isn't the first time I've been kind of ghosted, so art and this sort of thing is a, um, a bit of a luxury. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but when I commission art or anything like this, I, I kind of accept that there's a chance that, you know, the person may just like bail. And it sucks when that happens, but it's, it's a tough one. But sometimes life happens and sometimes they're, People can be embarrassed or too afraid to, like, you know, talk to the person. So I guess the alternative is to just ghost, which obviously isn't okay, but it's just kind of the reality of things. So something that I forgot to mention at the beginning of this was, this is a bit of a sound check. And it's a sound check for this working space. See, I'm, I am now located in a surprisingly noisy place. I didn't really notice it until I was going to sleep and it was completely silent. I usually sleep with brown noise so it kind of sounds like I'm on a, uh, like a spaceship or something, like there's a generator running, you know? <laughs> but uh, when I first moved here, I didn't have my uh, anything, really, just a bed. And uh, it was completely silent, and I could hear a lot. So I'm next to the ocean and a gigantic river and a lot of cargo ships go in and out of here. There's also a Coast Guard base with helicopters that fly around. And the noise is ma mainly just ships. Like there's not just cargo ships, there's also a lot of commercial fishing that happens here. And I'm recording this at 7 a.m which is a little later than I used to record for you guys. And I'm kind of far away from the microphone, like it's not, it's not pointing at my snoot. So I don't know how much ambient noise is going to be picked up. It's honestly not, not bad. It, it sounds kind of weird, but it's not a it's not a bad background noise. But if I'm doing something like a role play, I can't have like weird ship noises in the background, I, unless it's like an I don't know an ocean going role play. <laughs> So yeah, that's about all I have for this one. What I will do for you guys though is tap on the card table. When I first got the card table out, I spent an abnormal amount of time just like touching it and feeling it. I don't know if I have um, like some sort of sensory thing. I find myself touching and tapping on things a lot 
and it's not just the noise I really like the tactile feeling of touching or tapping something that I don't know how to describe the attribute but the top of this card table is like padded and it feels really really good so I'm going to point the business end of the microphone. I'm going to point it down so you can hear the tapping a bit more. And at the very end, I'm going to take off. Uh, I'm going to remove my paws or shave them. I'm not sure how to do that without breaking character. But uh, I can't, like, it just sounds different. And I like it, and I think that you guys will like it too. So let's point this down.
And that's it. See you next time.